Happy Monday, everyone. Starting out the week a lot like how we went over the weekend. It's mostly sunny skies. High pressure pretty well in control. And you can see the tilt to everything out there well up into the Gulf of Alaska. This high pressure ridge is what we call it. Well, that's going to continue, but it breaks down just a little bit and a little bit more and a little bit more as we go over the next couple of days. So we'll start to cool things down by just a couple of degrees each day as we head later in the week. Now, the end of the week, especially getting into the weekend, possibly next week, we do have some potential of changing our weather a bit. I wouldn't say any real chances of showers in the forecast just yet, but we do have low pressure starting to build up a little further out in the Pacific that may eventually make its way on in, which would be good news in the long run, especially because it's been very dry through the month of October and we're starting out in November a lot of the same way. You can see that high pressure ridge exactly what that does keeps the cloud cover way out in the Pacific, out into the Gulf of Alaska, well off to the north of us, causing some stormy conditions in the Midwest, but mostly avoiding us, also avoiding a lot of California where they have very dry conditions. And because of that, we have something known as a stagnant air advisory through our area. I'll touch on that in a second, but you can see it pretty well mapped out. High pressure is clockwise flow, keeping that cloud cover, those showers well off outside of our area, bringing us the clear skies that we see once again. So cold mornings will continue, but not as cold as what we saw last week. We continue a little bit later into the week, a bit more cloud cover, more moisture in the air, so we won't be as dry as what we saw last week and for a good part of October. But even so, there's not a lot of change in the forecast. When there's not a lot of change, there's no new air really flowing in. And because of that, we have an air stagnation advisory for Curry, Douglas, Jackson, and Josephine County. That should last till about Wednesday morning. Then we'll start to see a bit of a change as we go into Wednesday and eventually Thursday. And this is what it could look like. Some clouds at times for the coast, that marine layer of cloud cover. Let's keep on going into Tuesday, though. Finally, about Tuesday afternoon, start to see some clouds come in, at least a difference in our forecast as we've been mostly sunny just about every single day. Haven't had a lot of new air filling into the valleys, getting all that old air out, that stagnant air that sits and causes some air quality concerns, something we are seeing. Checking out the coast for today, sunny skies, then mostly clear later tonight. Temperatures a little bit warmer in Brookings, 69 degrees, not too bad. Checking out the West Valley's temperatures also topping out around 70 degrees or so. I'll say about 70 for Medford, warmer in Northern California, 73 possible for Wairika, and cooler up towards Roseburg with some areas of fog. And east of the Cascades, temperatures mainly in the 60s today, so most areas will be above average once we get into the afternoon. Now your seven day forecast, as I mentioned, will very gradually cool down as the week goes on from time to time, some cloud cover, and then we'll go towards Thursday, Friday, possibly Saturday and Sunday, seeing temperatures start to drop to around average, which is about the low sixties this time of year for the basin. You're going to trend that way as well, but it takes a little while to get there. Most mornings will be seeing freezing temperatures. Northern California also trending a little bit cooler as time goes on. We'll add some cloud cover out there towards Friday and Saturday and out on the coast. It's looking like a mostly dry forecast. We'll watch Saturday and Sunday for any potential for rain.